today is Monday, April 20th, 2020, and we are talking today about standard measurement and non-standard measurement. So, a few of the terms that you need to know are inch, this would be standard measurement, inch, foot, which equals 12 inches, a yard, which is the same as three feet, and a mile, which is 5,280 feet. And, um, 5,280 is also divisible by three. So you can also figure out that um, one mile is 1,760 yards as well. So a mile is 5,280 feet, or I wrote it down 1,760 yards. Okay, so inch, one foot, which is 12 inches. So I'll show you right here on this yardstick. Okay, so from here at this end to here, that's one foot. So 12 inches is one foot. And this stick from end to end is 36 inches, which equals three feet, which equals one yard. So this is a yard stick if you've heard of a yard stick, okay? So three feet equals one yard. And in sewing, uh, we use yards a lot to measure material. So non-standard measurement, however, would be to use maybe paper clips. Um, I'm going to post this just in Google Classroom if you want a copy just to look at it. Um, you can see one, two, three, that this arrow is approximately three pa paper clips long. And this rhombus is one, two, up, oh, not quite three. So they look similar in size, but I can tell by using this non-standard way of measuring that this is smaller than this size, okay? So you can compare with standard measurement with inches, feet, yards. Um, you can use non-standard ways to measure or you can also compare. So for example, I could set two books next to each other and just see which one is larger or smaller. Another way to uh, measure something, especially maybe people's height, is um, string. So I probably wouldn't measure anything too large with string just because that would take up a lot of string and it'd be easier to find a um, larger way to, to measure that. For example, we used um, a really cool measuring tape type thing when I had have to measure out uh, things for PE like fields and um, and for people to be able to do their running so um, so let's look at these words again there is inch foot which is 12 inches a yard which is three feet and a mile which is 5,280 feet or 1,760 yards, okay? So you can measure something with a non-standard measurement, like measuring this arrow with paper clips. You can also measure an object, um, like a pencil or a paper clip or a math book. For example, I got out my teacher edition of our uh, literature book. And let's see, this is another one of my sewing measurement rulers. And this is just over 12 inches. So if I were rounding, it would be 12 inches. Okay, um, so I could measure, it also says on our sheet to measure a chalk, a chalkboard. And I'm at home, so I don't have a chalkboard. But I thought it'd be funny to grab this little chalk toy and I could measure this if I wanted to and let's see here if I measure it oh the other thing I want to make sure um, that you know is you always start measuring something with at the zero okay so on this one I would find it's hard to see because this is clear but there is you always put the side with zero at the end and then go up from there to measure the length of something. So let me get out this one that's easier for you to see. Okay, so if I measure with this, 
I'm not gonna put it just anywhere on here. I'm not gonna put it down here and if <laughs> everything works out and you take star next year, um, cause this year it went away. But if um, next year you do, one of the things that they have on there is to be able to measure. And one of the most common mistakes I saw was that people would um, start at the wrong end of the ruler. So make sure that you have zero lined up with the object that you're measuring. So um, if I was measuring, let's say, just a shape, and I was measuring a shape of something, I would um, put is make this easier to hold I would put this here and I would put it down at zero and I would measure it this way so this is approximately one inch um, yes all right so non-standard ways to measure something standard ways to measure something which would be our words let me hold them up one more time inch foot yard, mile, and there's also non-standard like using a paper clip or string, and there's also comparing items. For example, um, if you look, this tree behind me is shorter than my apartment building. That tree, that's the Christmas tree that we had a few years ago, and I kept it. Uh, because it was planted and still had its roots and everything and so I've kept it and so it's grown a lot but it's still shorter than my apartment so um, so those are three different ways to measure to compare to use non-standard measurement or to use standard measurement one more time let's see if you can remember there was something that was shorter do you remember what that was and then something that's equal to 12 of those and then the next one is three of those. And then the next one is what we usually use to measure the distance that cars go. Okay, so let's look one more time. Inch, foot, yard, mile. And a foot is equal to 12 of the little inches. A yard is equal to three feet. And a mile is equal to 5,280 of those feet. It's a lot of feet, okay? So um, let me know if you have any questions when you do Path Blazer, which again is excellent practice. Um, there are three activities and a quiz after each of those activities. So they, I uh, figured out how to check what the quiz questions are. And um, you'll need to know all of those terms to be able to answer those quiz questions. But if you have any trouble with anything, let me know. Um, you can send me a private message in Google Classroom or your parents can send me a message if you have any trouble. So just let me know and I will be happy to help. And also on Tuesday, I will have my uh, Google Meet time so you can come to my teacher table and see me there. So um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson today and I hope you'll go around and measure some things in your house. I will also have you do an activity after this lesson so that you can practice what you've learned. Have a wonderful day and I miss you all dearly.